I recall many years ago I would give the story humorously um, that I went to preach somewhere many many years ago when I started out and um, it was in the rain it was rainy I didn't have I the church was not so far from my house and they had invited me to come for a program and I took out time fasted prayed it was raining and I said look I didn't want to keep these people waiting so I made up my mind that I was going to walk through the rain I was praying in tongues walking through the rain with joy then when I got to the the door of the church the people were jumping they were acting drama they were enjoying and they didn't even have a seat for me in front you see that of course those, those it was it was uh, they are good people i believe they just were doing what they knew to do and in my mind i was thinking to myself i said can you imagine these people i took out time to fast and pray trekked in the rain and i'm i got here and i mean the youths were jumping they were happy they were singing when I came, I sat there. They said, sorry, I should be patient. They see have drama to act. And you know, they acted drama, no problem. And then at the end of it, they just said, um, you know what, please, because time is gone. Um, can you manage maybe 10 or 15 minutes? Now, you need to have compassion to continue ministry. You get what I'm saying now? Yes. Because if you are not compassionate, even if you are anointed, you most likely will not return there. It takes compassion. You notice the Bible never said Jesus was moved with power. He demonstrated power, but what moved him was compassion. There are many anointed people who are not compassionate. You need to be compassionate. I told you compassion is beyond love. You must be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. As a man of God, when, when you are compassionate towards people, you will pour your heart to give them your very best. You will prepare your very best knowing that their destinies are connected to your efficiency it's called compassion are we together one more story to demonstrate compassion i would learn a lesson um uh, you know much much younger version of me we went to a church wanted to borrow instruments we we're going to have a crusade and there was no hope of even raising any money for anything and so we decided to go to a church churches used to help us with their instruments and so we went and sat down there the man preached a powerful i think that was about my first encounter with what we know as pentecostal circles i was born evangelical and so i went to this pentecostal church and they were happy they were talking at the, i think it was about solomon's wealth or something like that i wasn't even interested in what they were saying but i didn't know why the people were jumping and happy quite honestly because we are evangelicals everything was souls sinners missions and so here yeah, i am watching i'm saying what are these guys talking about and then when the service was done you know three or four young boys we went and met the pastor and we said sir um we are young boys here in this school we want to hold a small crusade and we're hoping we'll get instruments and ah that man insulted us and gave it to us i mean i could not believe it the shock was not the insult the shock was comparing two people one who was preaching a few minutes ago with power and sweating sharing the grace and then a few minutes later that's the same man using every kind of word you can imagine and i remember going back as a very small boy with an impression i said i will not do this to anyone compassion let me tell you something about people people do not care how much you know till they know how much you care People do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. You're a man of God here. Let me give you a great advice. Preaching prowess and anointing has its role in drawing people. But a major part of the people who will come and be part of your life will come because of your compassion, not just your preaching ability. There are people who may not be as sound as it were doctrinally. They may not have so much capacity to deliver scripture. But their hearts are hearts of gold and people would rather stay with a man who is limited with a heart of gold than one who is excessively vast in scripture but there is another side that is almost like a beast be compassionate are we together it takes a high level tolerance hear what the bible says by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples not when you speak in tongues not when you raise the dead not when you preach well when you have love one for another is someone learning 
the subject of compassion has been downplayed across the body of Christ, I think it's the reason why we do not see much happening. Love is powerful. That's what defeated sin and death. The Bible says even faith works by love. Practice love. Be compassionate. When you see someone crying, don't say, why are you crying? You are acting like a child. Compassion puts you in the person's shoes. What is this person going through that may have necessitated this? And you can reach out. Let me tell you this. Genuine power flows from the standpoint of love. You want to see the power of God in your life? Don't just fast and pray alone. Pray that the love of God towards Jesus and towards his people be imparted upon your life. And then you will see the grace of God in your life in an unusual way. I love my people with all my heart. I don't just teach them. I love them. It is the reason why I give the very best. They know. They know. I'm not using them for fame. I'm not using them to make a name. I repeat to you that people do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. People know when you are trying to use them to make a name. People know when you are just trying to make merchandise out of them. When people know that you are compassionate, they will give all kinds of excuses about your life. Are we together now? But when people find out that you are cruel, you are inhuman, um, you will not have it well with them. There are many of us, our hearts have been turned, it's like we have lost that human feeling. Maybe because of the things that have happened in our life, so much pain, so much trouble, and we are not compassionate at all. People cry, you don't care. People are bereaved, you don't care. Hallelujah. It was one thing growing up that I learned from the evangelical, uh, um, you know, didn't have all the soundness in Revelation, but if there is a bereavement, in two hours you see people singing choruses already going to that house women will stay there sleep there for days but with all due respect in many of our pentecostal cycles sometimes uh, we need god to help us a bit on this area thanksgiving you find people buying a car you find people but when people have a lot of pain everybody is busy we must be compassionate i hope you are learning i hope there's compassion in nis I hope there's compassion among the Christian people that the pain of one is the pain of all. You must throw away individualism. The pain of one. Don't say it's not my concern. I don't care. No. The kingdom mindset looks at the overall good of everyone. If I am doing well and you are in pain, it is still my business. Because if I win and you, lo you lose, the kingdom lost. It is only when we both win that the kingdom wins. Is someone learning? You must pray that God will make you a compassionate person. Now, let me tell you the side effect of being compassionate. People will take you for granted. And sometimes it will pain you that people will ride upon your compassion. But let it not change your attitude of compassion. Because I know that some of you started, you were compassionate people. They will come and lie and collect money. They will whip up sympathy. Unfortunately, that is the side effect. It's the reason why people have closed their hearts. But if you must make impact, I tell you, you must have a heart of compassion. Immediately after this discussion, I'm on my way to Lagos tonight and tomorrow. And then I head to worry. And then I return back on Sunday straight for a miracle service. It takes more than compassion. Why will I put myself under that kind of stress? Compassion. Not a name. You see that now? Compassion. It is compassion that will wake you up in the night to pray for a family that you may not even know because they shared some pain that you heard in church. A burden from the Lord comes upon you and you are in They may never know you are praying for them. But you are driven by compassion i'm praying for you may god connect you to compassionate people and may god make you a compassionate person are we together don't just aspire to be a powerful person alone don't just aspire to be a revelation full person alone your heart must have a rich capture of compassion say compassion yes don't rejoice at the pain of people don't rejoice when people go through pain. A family is going down and you are happy. No. 
someone has an accident is in the hospital and you are saying you know i saw this thing why didn't you stop it compassion love people more than your reputation love people more than career that's what that's what literally what caused god to leave his throne and come becoming an incarnate that you call jesus love for god so loved the world say that after me for god so loved the world not for god was so powerful he is all powerful but the principal motivation behind the work of the cross is love not power he was already god all by himself he was within his power to wipe the human species and start again he did not lose his creativity in amos chapter 3 i think it talks about compassion in such a profound way it talks about a shepherd that the lion came and ate the lamb and all that was left was two ears and one leg or was it a leg and two ears yet the shepherd still battled the lion and all that was left of that lamb can you imagine imagine that he comes a, a lion comes to eat up a lamb he's eating everything and all that is left was the ear and the leg and yet the shepherd still fought it very profound scripture because if there is an ear to hear the truth and your feet to take a step of faith they will always be recovering the dry bones did not even have ear and leg they were all bones yet they came back to become an exceeding great army the meaning of that is that you must believe in people compassion makes you to tell someone is never late for as long as you are alive you can still start again maybe this is a prophetic word for someone you have mismanaged your life mismanaged your days let me tell you the bible says there is hope for a tree that even if it be cut up at the scent of water there remained this tree faith that moves mountains hope that makes not a shame are we together yes and the greatest of all the bible says is love have compassion towards people you may need to reach out to someone you know has been going through a lot of tragedy you've noticed that someone is in your office and it looks like bad luck is just following the person is compassion that will make you to invite him for a conference like this not just a desire to fill space in gathering was not supposed to be motivated by a desire to show that results are needed but it is compassion that makes you to draw people you clearly can see that there are yokes and causes in the life of this man and if this man is left the way he is himself the wife and the children will be destroyed and compassion will make you insist even if it's to pay for his transport let him come to the house of the lord and find deliverance in addition to an experience with god in addition to value vision in addition to value i'm adding to your knowledge you want to make an impactful life compassion the two stories from apostle joshua selman shows his humble beginning when you see people starting in a particular thing do well to honor them even when they start you don't know tomorrow like that man that refused to give them instruments if you see his apostles today what will he say? So, if you are in a position to help anybody, do well to help. Because you don't know tomorrow. Tomorrow may change. God may lift that person from the place you see him or her today to a greater position. So, do well to honor people. Thank you for always visiting this channel. For more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe. And also share this video with all your friends. See you in our next video. God bless you.